Valentine's Day is coming. Thoughts of romance. And if you're an employment and labor lawyer for management, you'll have thoughts on how to handle romance on the job. A recent survey showed more than half of American professionals have had an office romance. The survey said more of these romances have a lot of turnover, hookups that don't last very long. What to do? A rigid no dating policy at work? That's hard to enforce and could bring a lot of negativity into the corporate culture. But here are some things you can do. It starts with an anti-fraternization policy that is given to all employees. You need to discourage romantic relationships between a supervisor and an employee. The problems are obvious. Other employees could think someone's getting special treatment. And when the relationship ends, there could be fallout. A scorned lover claiming the relationship wasn't consensual, even constituting sexual harassment. Your policy should require when a manager-employee romance happens, the manager must disclose it immediately and the couple should not work together on the same matters. What about romance between coworkers of equal rank? Caution them to avoid public displays of affection and they could be subject to discipline if their actions disrupt the work environment. But remember, under federal law, most employees have a right to discuss the terms and conditions of employment with each other. Policies which merely prohibit fraternization without explaining that they apply to romantic relationships have been found to be an unlawful restraint on this right. So make sure that your policy is clear in its application and scope. That's a start looking at romance, the workplace, and the law.